hi everyone welcome back to my channel <clears throat> today i'm going to do libras before starting subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram for more updates for personal readings contact instagram or whatsapp me details are given below sun moon rising and venus signs in libra this is a general reading take however this resonates and leave what doesn't personal readings are always there to help you libras what are you running after you're panicked i don't know you're rushing over something oh my god now libras what i feel is that you and your person there's mutual love here you both are working on this connection you both are fighting for each other there's mutual love here okay scorpio pisces cancer another libra you are already married to this person or there's a very high chance that you both want to marry with each other but then there's some blockages okay hmm your person could be virgo taurus capricorn or a scorpio i feel like your person has lost the spark or your person oh my god wait wait a minute okay what i feel is that your person may have uh mm. What's this about? Wait a minute. I know why I don't want to say this, but I feel this person has lost the spark and has moved to someone else or is looking for other options despite of having you in their life. There, there's someone at the background, okay? And I feel like this person may have left you recently. For someone else okay there's a third party involved here you were very happy with this person but something happened they left you and found someone else and i also know that here they are not very honest with that person too they're not very serious about them they may be about you but not the other person so libra here you decided to let go of this connection because you're tired and you're hurt and you know that something's fishy going on okay maybe your person is a pisces scorpio virgo taurus capricorn they uh, they bought you a marriage offer okay but uh, somehow this thing ended or your person have changed the path okay and i feel you've tried a lot to work this connection out but it's not working this may or may not resonate for some of you okay open your heart to give and receive the highest i feel like if Oh my god, you need to release this person. This is an X energy that's lingering around you, Libras. I feel like you need to release your X if you want to find true love here. Okay, so there may be someone new who may flirt with you, who may come towards you. Okay. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Separation. Okay, you were dealing with a flirt very clearly you were dealing with a flirt i don't want to say this i'm not happy to see these cards but libra this may be a message for a very small group of people who really need to hear this at this point of time i feel like if you feel like someone left you out in the cold you have to know that that person has um addictions okay they had someone else in their life or they could not stick to one connection so separation took place this person was flirting with you and you this is the time where you have to understand that you have to release your ex okay in order to find new love so i feel like someone is going to bring towards you a new offer okay it would be a risky chance but let's see let's see what other messages do i have for yes yeah, someone is coming towards you a cancer person maybe let's see okay someone is coming towards you with a very strong proposal i feel like someone libra gemini aquarius or a cancer person is going to be extremely interested in you okay i feel like there's someone who thinks about you a lot but is not telling you okay hmm Maybe your ex is trying to come back into your life. Yes, this someone who's very deceptive is playing games, playing mind games with you. 
very strong mind games being played and this person is not letting you go and not even committing with you so you're stuck in between there's a lot of fights happening this person comes towards you and then fights with you and then leaves you stuck i feel your person is playing you whoever you're dealing with is a big time player you have to be very careful this may be a message for some okay that really need to know scorpio energy sagittarius so i feel someone is actually playing you they're telling you that they have you and you only in their life that you may be already married to this person or they're telling you that they're gonna marry you but beside you there may be someone else in the background they're not letting you know about or this is a person who picks up fights they may be very violent they may be very impulsive aggressive that kind of energy that i'm getting this person says that i'm going to marry you but then there's something fishy about them they're not telling you everything about themselves and this this affects you a lot okay libras they have a lot of things that they're hiding from you and this person is very money oriented as well and i also feel your person could be alcoholic some of you it couldn't be for all okay because i know why i'm getting so many cards like these maybe someone needs to know at this point of time okay so you if you're getting hurt again and again by someone by a lover of yours then you really know need to know that something like this may be going on your person is a narcissist okay one time they say they're going gonna be with you forever and then they're hurting you with their words with their behavior there there's definitely a third party here this could be an aries person very bossy very dominating mean selfish they want to control you because they feel like you're weak and so they can control you let me check more libras please okay hmm libra i feel like there's a new person in the background that wants to come into your life only if you allow okay this person is going to love you a lot but then you have to come out of this ex energy okay you need to release your ex because there's someone who wants to enter into your life but first you really need to leave your ex so that you can heal yourself in order to bring the correct person i feel the correct person is going to be scorpio pisces cancer or someone who's extremely sensitive towards you very caring in the beginning also from the beginning till the end they will be very caring okay they're going to heal you somehow this person is coming very fast they're rushing in and i feel like you need to release your ex if you want this energy to come into your life aries sagittarius leo you feeling trapped right now you feeling like you have nowhere to go your ex is trying to control you and so you have to take this decision okay it's it's totally up to you if you take this decision of ending a connection like that if you can end a toxic connection then there's a lot of positivity prosperity abundance coming in for you there needs to be an ending to a situation where you're feeling extremely stuck and you have nowhere to go okay it's up to you because you really need to bring that loving side out and i feel like your you feel suppressed your heart feels suppressed because you're very hurt someone wants to make a very obvious move towards you you're extremely attractive but the person that you're dealing with right now with whom you're feeling consistently hurt is bringing down your energy is draining you every point of time so i feel like you really need to change your energy to more loving person and more expressive persons once you leave this connection where you're feeling trapped in you're going to embrace love in you and there's going to be more options in love that are going to come to you and i feel like not just one there are a lot of options that are waiting to discover you and you're going to find you get to choose who you want but it's going to take time and patience it's nothing's going to happen at once so i feel like you have to do take a hard step if you want to find the correct life if you want to be see both are capricorns you see this you've really worked hard to protect your connection that's not going anywhere okay you really worked hard maybe you were dealing with a capricorn but with a new moon and a full moon there's an ending that needs to happen for a new start okay there's a new start that's happening so i feel like the end of tough cycle is coming to an is uh, is um, 
there and you're going to start off afresh there's something new that's going to bring into your life with the capricorn energy you're feeling very weak right now very weak you're good enough you have to embrace yourself i feel like you've forgotten self-love in this and you've lost faith in your dreams you you think there's nothing better in life for you you can never have a peaceful happy loving family it's not like that you have to love yourself first you have to bring the energy back in yourself start loving yourself meditate start off finding good things you know look into the mirror and see what all things do you like about yourself and speak out loud to the universe so that it gets registered in your mind this is for those who are not feeling very good okay because some of the people get offended saying no we are already in this self-love zone it's for someone who really needs to know this so I feel like there's a new start happening where you start to love yourself and there's someone who's coming your way is going to make you feel like that as well. So you just have to have faith in your dreams and be strong. Everything's going to work well. Libras, I feel you've had a lot of heartache recently or fallouts, but you really need to release someone from the past. Any kind of past you really need to release. See, I told you, you have unnecessary worries. Right away in the beginning, I told you, unnecessary worries are burdening you. Something that's not meant for you is meant to leave. So let it go, okay? Spiritual path. I feel the spiritual readings and spiritual guidance is really going to help you come out of this faster. So embrace that and take motivational guidance from wherever possible. So Libras, this is a reading for you. You have a bright future, but you have to release something from the past. So all the best to you. Like this video, subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Comment down below. And yeah, that's it. Bye.